Hi there. How are you? This is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader. I hope you guys are doing well and this reading is finding you in a good way. We have a juicy reading here for you, for somebody in the collective, or this could resonate as a collective energy as well, or this is also a general reading. So just take it how it applies to your situation. I want to say hello to the subscribers. I want to say hello to the ones that are new watching this. All right, if you see this, this reading might be for you, okay? And follow your intuition and take the energies how they apply to your situation. If it doesn't resonate, just leave it. And then you can, uh, if you want this as a personal reading, this is called... On my website, it's called It's Up to Spirit reading. So this is up to spirit here, what's coming through, what they see. And they're bringing it forth to us for the highest good at this time. And um, that's kind of like the idea and the design of this reading. And it's meant for yourself or your soul connection or your twin flame connection. I have three options. And you can book that as a personal reading on my website, www.empathicmoon777.com. And also, please, uh, for me, we have a special still. We have a few days left, 15% off all of our crystals. Now, many of the crystals are not listed on the website. You can check my Instagram page uh, for different type of crystals on my stories. 15% um, off, you use the checkout code Divine Space Love, all lowercase letters, and you get the automatic 15% off. Also, there is 1111 off of the special reading called Because I Love Myself Tarot Reading. You can also see that on my website. It's meant for you. It's meant to enhance self-love. It's meant to look at the four main areas of the self, the mind, emotions, the physical, and the spiritual through spirit's lens. And it's a divine perspective to help you to be successful. So this is Empathic Moon. Try a divine perspective to your success in a cos in a in the complex cosmos. All right. So Instagram and TikTok. All right. We do readings on TikTok too, guys, and it's been pretty good on TikTok. All right. Um, YouTube. You know, I I'm not too sure about the algorithm stuff, and I'm trying to work on that with somebody. And um, please do leave a like. I think it helps with the algorithm in getting this page and channel out to the ones that could benefit from this. And um, especially if you like the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're in the heart of North America in Winnipeg. So it's a very interesting place. We're in the heart of North America. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I uh, haven't seen you guys. Haven't been on for a while. It's been very busy for me. Um, I've been doing all right and I've been just enjoying the change of weather because here where we are, we just have like really long winters and it's like really, really depressing, um, at times and the COVID is, you know, it's lessening and things are opening up a little bit. So it just feels a lot more freer and just like, everybody's like, I'm on the go, 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 try to get things done here. So good things. And uh, so the universe is coming in. Look at this, the universe number 21. So the universe, this is about the universe bringing in something. All right. So this reading is about the universe or spirit saying, hey, we're bringing in something and they're bringing in a passionate new start or they're bringing in passion. All right. So this could be the spark within you or this could be the spark within your person. All right, but there is a passion, all right, a starting energy coming through, and this is coming through the universe, all right? You could have been manifesting this, or your person could have been manifesting this. Just take it how it applies to your situation here. Now, this energy could be you, this energy could be your person, but then I also have energies that are related to each other, so you're going to find out what those energies are. But the universe is bringing in a passionate new start here. You might have worked with the universe to manifest this, all right? So what is happening with this passionate new start here? <clears throat> there is something happening in this now, right now, in relation to the third eye and sacral chakra. <clears throat> so what I'm getting here is that right now, currently, somebody's going through an awakening right now in their third eye. So this awakening is a deepening of their consciousness or a, um, a deepening of their awareness of where they are. And this awakening is connected to their sacral chakra. So this is related to uh, the power center, the, this, the, the place of uh, relationships. 
the place of um, uh, creativity and the place of passion, the, pl the place of um, expressing yourself, all right? So this there's an awakening happening with this passion right now. And with this, there's this is connected to this uh, passion ignited. You can see here, there's a fire here. All right. So this is connected to that sacral chakra. This is like coming out. You know what I mean? But the awakening is happening. All right. This is currently happening right now. The second situation here, we have an energy of love begins. So <clears throat> currently right now, there is an energy where somebody wants to start something. They want to either offer love or they want to uh, start from a place of love. Okay. The, the the main thing is here is somebody wants to start from a place of love. All right. Um, it's I feel like this is a new start from a place of love, like um, putting the heart center into it. All right. Starting from the heart center, moving forward. We have this passion ignited here. We have one and one. These are starting energies. OK, so this is something something new. All right. Something new coming up here. Then we have another number one here. So there's three ones. One, one, one. All right. So to me, when I see one, 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 this is an energy that your mind is manifesting right away. So it's you have to think uh, what you want, because the one, one, one is a reminder that things are manifesting right now at a very fast speed. So it's like you got to think about the things that you want. All right. And not the things you don't want. You know what I mean? So 111 is also an energy of starting. Prosperity begins. So <clears throat> this is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is the Earth energy. This is the Heart energy. This is the Passion energy. Energy. <clears throat> so this is uh, an offer. Prosperity begins is an offer. So it's about making a connection to prosper it's it's like making uh making the first move from a loving place and this move is to have prosperity uh, the intention is to have prosperity with the other person okay so this is the second situation happening now we're going to get the energies towards each other now okay <clears throat> so in relation to that we're going to look at releasing pain and and the ending of suffering so what i get here resisting and an inevitable end, recovery, finally over it, all wounds festering. <clears throat> so this, okay, the, the Ten of Swords here is an ending, all right? It's a final ending. It's a breakdown. It's a breakup. It's hitting rock bottom. It's victim mentality. It's a failure. It's an end. But it's in the reverse here. So this is coming out of that pain now, all right? So in relation to coming out of pain, in relation to um old wounds festering okay so there is some kind of prior history between the two of you here and um we're gonna see what the energy in relation to this uh ending of suffering and releasing pain the other person your person is in this energy of two cups with you so they want to have a loving exchange all right they want to have uh i'm going to say loving exchange here they uh, want to have something that is in sync with you, all right? Um, and this could mean maybe a new partnership or maybe some kind of companionship. For some, this will mean different things, all right? Um, and also, this could mean the union of hearts. So this could be something about heart-to-heart -heart exchange, a loving exchange, I think is the main phrase here with this two of cups here coming through, I feel. But then that's their energy towards you. And then they want to do this in this energy of the King of Wands. So they are, um, you know, they're wanting to be successful and passionate. They want to um, make things happen. All right. And uh, they may be using their charisma. All right. They may be um, wanting to be successful. Like I feel like their their mind is on success right now. And they're creating some kind of vision and making things happen as a natural leader they're doing this in a natural way so this is their energy towards you okay so they want to come together 
all right and they want to be in this in this natural born leader energy towards you all right they want to be in that energy towards you in relation to ending the suffering okay so they want to come to you in a way that's loving um which is positive and they want to do so in the king's energy which i feel is also positive the wands is all about passion and it's all about action all right so they want to take action on this uh, loving exchange with you okay and this is to end the suffering <clears throat> so uh your energy the collective's energy we have here the emperor look at this here so <clears throat> there's something here about the divine masculine energy here taking action so this king of wands is kind of like very close to this emperor energy taking action taking action here all right protective authority powerful stability leader and father so what i get here we have the six of swords so a transition better times ahead so i do feel like you want to have better times with a divine masculine you want this person to be in this divine masculine energy who's going to provide you some type of protective authority power and stability leader uh taking action type of energy all right that's that pursuing energy that's that definite masculine energy um taking action and leadership and being very strong and authoritative and dominant but also in a way that's protective but also in a way that's head and heart um they're in sync in the in the mind and in the heart that's where they're working from and they're not um backing down on that like they know what the head and heart is saying and they take action on that because it's the right thing to do all right um and it's in a way that is meant to provide some type of stability to not just the self but it's also with the collective so we have this transition becoming stable overcoming hardship peace and restoration so you could be wanting to you know have peace with this masculine in this energy uh you might want to just make peace you know with uh this concept of this emperor energy um maybe you want to have some conflicts or re resolved with this person that you feel is it this masculine this divine masculine okay <clears throat> so that's what's coming through for you so uh we're gonna see the messages now what's happening with these here we're gonna talk about what the reading is about so in in the, and i must i am cute about talking about this releasing the pain ending suffering uh you want to transition all right into a better place uh with this uh divine masculine that's coming through here okay so in relation to the answers here what's going to be happening we're going to look at the energy related to rejoicing and celebration. This is about coming together in some type of gathering, uh, celebration, gathering, maybe a wedding, maybe some kind of party or maybe some kind of birthday, something like that. Um, there's a lot of different things going on in the summertime. So there could be a lot of different events happening. This could be ceremonies as well. Um, so retreats, vacations, something like that. Uh, so with this rejoice in celebration, there's also three there. So there's other people involved in this scenario as well. So we have here worth fighting for. So this is about, we're going to look at the energy in relation to um, what it means, like hmm, the energy of um, making a stand uh, towards this um, third third energy here this rejoice and celebration so it seems like somebody is wanting to stand up for like to do uh make a stand um for somebody uh for you okay take it it could be flipped um to make a stand for the connection for you uh for themselves make a stand within some kind of group setting okay and it's related to uh, something that is telling them in their intuition, all right? Their intuition might be guiding them and telling them this uh, about some kind of recognition and reward here. So it could be recognition and reward in relation to you that their intuition is telling them that you have to have recognition and reward in this community setting in this gathering setting in this public setting 
in this um uh like in this gathering of people all right so i also do get the sense here that you might know the same people here you you guys might uh connect with the same group of people and somebody is feeling someone's left out okay and um their intuition is telling them that you need to have uh recognition in this energy and uh and and it's about making a stand so we're going to see what the energy in relation to that is okay we're going to see what the energy is in relation to this <clears throat> so this awakening here with the passion that's happening okay there is this power energy okay the power is the power within you you can see the lion and then this masculine here um so this is power like knowing that you are the lion you have the courage right it's clarified by the moon so there is some kind of uh blocked intuition here okay so this awakening here with this passion this awakening there's some kind of fears here with their power fears about being in their power related to their passion all right so i feel like they're um they're not ready or they're not uh they're not in their confidence or they're afraid okay there's uncertainty there's deception okay there's instability there's anxiety there's illusion there's a lot of different things there a lot of different shadowy type of energies a lot of unknown um there may be some kind of deceptive energy uh illusions and this is creating anxiety this is creating blocked intuition it's kind of fear-based right this fear-based energy here um uh is 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 blocking this power to come through here is what i'm getting here and that's the message from spirit in relation to this all right uh we also have here with the firm foundation it's connected to the base chakra we have base chakra here third eye sacral chakra okay so the firm foundation, though, is being stable, all right, stable and secure and rooted, <clears throat> okay? And we have your four of coins. It's a material as uh, attachment here. So there is some kind of material energy here where there, there's an attachment to the 3D. So <clears throat> the 3D is, um, there's a lot of different conflict. There's fears in the 3D in that dimension there's a lot of different things there's a lot of illusion there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of like attachments materialism right uh holding on okay possessive hoarding habitual scarcity mindset material attachment here to this firm foundation so um <clears throat> there is fears here about coming into power all right um With something they've been holding on to, all right? Um, it's a, a, I feel like it's a, a hoarding. It's like a hoarding energy. You're holding on very tightly um, to this 3D energy, all right? And it, it, it's inside of this firm foundation here. It's like, uh, it's almost like um, a lock. I want to say like it's almost like a locked into that. It's a, it's a locked into that. That's inside of this firm foundation. There's a lock there. All right. And so this is what's causing this person to be um, blocked or have fears. Because they're not seeing um, outside of that realm, outside of that dimension. There's something blocked in terms of their intuition to, to have power over, over that. All right. Although they do have this awakening here about their passion they are afraid okay <clears throat> so that's what i got there guys okay um the second one so you could see here that with this making a stand here you could see here that the fears and the 3d energy is getting to them okay um so we have here solitude okay and this uh material attachment can also be connected to this um to this uh gathering as well okay so <clears throat> in relation to this love starting from love starting a new start you know building something starting this um this person is going through uh, a solitude energy all right so 
uh, they're reflecting. They're how they're doing this is that they're going within. All right, they're not talking to anybody. Like they're alone. They're in this solitude right now and doing some type of reflecting. Um, and in this energy, there's this turning point. All right, they're looking ahead. All right, they're trying to get in the energy of uh, rebuilding. Uh, they're trying to start to accept. All right. Um, and they're trying to recover to see some type of um, things changing, have have some things improve in their solitude. All right. So it's like they're alone and they're in this energy of trying to change things, to look ahead, to look in a positive way. So this is um, I just feel like this is something that is starting for them. All right. Uh, it's just a, like a turning point for them. Um, with this solitude, all right? This person could have been in solitude for a while too is what I'm getting here. So um, <clears throat> they could be just in this energy now uh, of looking ahead um, because they've been alone. So it could be that they're alone, like in the solitude from you. And then it's like... Um, they want to just look ahead, all right, for positive changes, okay? Um, and then we have here the waiting game, okay? So there, there is this energy of like a wait, all right? There's, there's, um, it's, it, just, it just doesn't seem like um, this is going to happen uh, with this person here because we have here facing your fears, letting go, detachment, releasing, limiting beliefs, hiding your true self. Okay, there's a shadow here. There's a shadow self coming through. So this person here is, um, uh, they're not ready. They're alone. Uh, they're just in the middle of some kind of like, uh, they're in some kind of weight energy. They're in some kind of pause. They're in solitude. And it's like they are, hmm, they're looking ahead in this while they're in this energy they're looking ahead all right for positive changes but at the same time through this waiting game they're facing a lot of fears all right now all right and we could see that through this moon here that's coming through with the um illusion and the misconception and uncertainty here okay and fears are here too with the moon's energy so they could be um working to let those fears go okay because remember they were holding on all right so and they're not in their strength because of these fears right so they're alone all right so in relation to making a stand here it seems like they are not making a stand here but it says their energy here is the wanting to uh take action here so this seems like it seems to be some kind of start here right they had the awakening, but it just seems like it's some kind of start. They're facing a lot of fears right now and shadow energy right now. They are looking ahead, but it just seems like this is a lot for them right now. They are taking some kind of action here, it says here, uh, to have some type of union of hearts. And uh, you are wanting to have a transition here. All right, so guidance for the collective with this person here. Thank you. Have strength here, okay? Uh, have compassion, have confidence in yourself, all right? It's not your fault. Believe in yourself, all right? Have strength with the illusion. Have, have strength with the confusion and the unclearness, all right? All right. Um, there's many possibilities that are maybe seen there. Uh, there may be some type of wishful uh, thinking, but uh, they want you to have strength and believe in yourself. Have confidence yourself in yourself. All right. You have a lot of influence. All right. And this person, it's not, it's not your problem. Like, I mean, it's not yours. Like, it's not because of you. All right. Just have compassion. Um, they're saying to reevaluate. Okay. Reevaluate. Uh, reassess. Make some kind of adjustment. Set some goals for yourself. All right. What is your purpose? Look at that. Um, reevaluate. Tell me about the reevaluate. Oh, I fell on the ground. Sorry. 
Okay, and then we're going to get one more card. I'm going to close off the reading here. Reevaluate. There it is. Thank you. Okay, reevaluate your um, long term investments. All right. So if you are working on something, I would definitely start to look at uh, the purpose in relation to your long term view. Okay. If you're working on something, continue to invest in that. Have patience. Um, if you're working on something in your in your work or career um, projects or whatever, have strength with that also too, all right? Um, maybe make some adjustments there. Uh, as it relates to this person here, you might have to do some reassessments. Uh, with this energy that you see here before you, you know this, what this energy is, what kind of goals are you going to set? What is your purpose now for yourself, all right? How are you going to persevere, all right? What are you going to do? in this energy for yourself okay you know what's going on here okay you can't energy is always changing long-term view is you good things take time what do you want to build all right and have compassion and confidence in yourself and uh in relation to any type of confusion or illusion that may come up all right it's it's not because of you all right and uh you are the invisible force believe in yourself okay I love you guys so much and take care. All the best.